Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here with my review for the Captain America trilogy. Since I did watch the films back to back, um, with a little, with what, with, um, Avengers Age of Ultron in the middle of it, but, um, I wanted to give my review while, before I get into the final review after finishing the Avengers tetralogy, I guess, the four film story arc with the Avengers, but my original hang up with the Captain America trilogy Mostly was it didn't feel like at the time that it was a continuous story, but watching it now, I've now realized that the story arc was noticeably different from the Iron Man side of things because it completed the story arc between Captain America and um, his friend Bucky Barnes. So in the first film, we had the creation of Captain America and the loss of Bucky, but then we have him come back as a winter, we have Bucky come back as a winter soldier and, um, Steve Rogers and Captain America coming to terms with it. And then Civil War becoming the, um, fallout for Captain America essentially doing anything he can to protect his friends, even though he knows the story and the fallout as well from being from basically breaking the rules and withholding information from his other friends like um, Tony Stark in Iron Man. And the line stood out a lot more this time when um, um, Steve says that he's only do he's he would do anything for his friend and or he or sorry, um, Steve says that he's my friend in reference to Bucky, but then Tony replies, so was I. So that stood out a lot more that it see so Tony and Steve are dealing with the same two opposite sides of the same coin. So Tony is working within the current framework of the rules, but feels like he can be changed and Steve works outside the rules because he's always been discarded, thrown out, underestimated, and bullied. So he has always kind of been outside the system. Tony knows how the system works and how to manipulate things to his benefit. So... Overall, the trilogy seemed to work a lot better, and you kind of see that Tony would do, or Tony's grown outside of being self-centered, egotistical, flamboyant, and all that, to doing anything for his friends, like uh, Rhodey, doing something things for the woman he loves in Pepper, and essentially, and then by the end of Civil War, we see him taking Peter Parker as Spider-Man under his wing, which hashes out um, to, by the end of Avengers, so. Um, overall, the Captain America story are reinforces that idea between Tony and Steve that they're the two sides of the same coin, and they're they are still friends, and they're still able to work together, even though they disagree and have their own ways of doing things. So we see that come back together in Avengers. I want to say Endgame when um, Tony comes back to work with. Steve to um, essentially fix things and um, he figures out how to do the time travel business to fix every fix the um, Infinity Stones bit with Thanos, but that's going into the future a bit. So in any case, the trilogy for me holds up. It does introduce a lot of characters and um, um, backstories like with the Vision, with... Um, Wanda and her brother, especially when with the fallout from um, Avengers: Age of Ultron, we see um, a little bit more interaction with Thor, but not as much there. Um, and then things like with uh, Black Panther and um, how he was manipulated by the um, psychiatrist guy that instead of taking on the Avengers head on, have them destroy each other from within. Um, so. Steve, basically by the end of the trilogy, Steve comes to understand Tony's point of view of withholding information as vital. So even though Steve knew about the loss of Tony's parents at the hands of um, his friend, it's like, it's what do you do in that situation? So Steve is going to do no, no, do whatever he can, no matter what, outside of the framework of the rules, while Tony will do it whatever he can from within the system and break the rules at his convenience or even as needed 
because the system isn't perfect and it does need to be improved as they go. So that's all there is for this particular review. So with that, um, I'm going to round out the review um, of the MC leaders walk through once I'm done with Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, so look out for that coming soon. But that's all for this particular review, so if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, Headphones Neil Reviews now on Patreon, so you can support the show there and also provide your feedback once you become a patron by visiting patreon.com slash PatelN01. Um, and you can also get access to um, upcoming scheduled um, content, make recommendations, and all of that good stuff. So be sure to su- um, support the show there. And of course, the website is PatelN01.com for uh, past episodes, subscription links, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.